How you doing, my crazy cracker lovers? This is Abiba, the crazy cracker lady, coming to you with something brand new. It's my Abiba's raw tamale pie. It is off the chart. I'll tell you just real quick how it started before I show you my books. I think I'll show you my books first. This is absolutely Abiba's crazy crackers. Learn the secret to a good cracker. The book that started all the crazy cracker craze and people wanting to learn how to make their own crackers. This is really what started it. The next book, I actually have four books and an upcoming book is coming soon. It's on my website. This book here is the third book. This is Absolute Beba's Lip Smack and Favorites. For those of you that don't have a dehydrator yet but are on your way to get one, this has salads, soups, dressings, desserts, a number of things, and also the famous cut the cheese recipe cracker that uses no nutritional yeast, no dairy products. It's wonderful. And then this book which is the fourth book. This is more Lip Smack and Favorites for, with the infamous um, new and improved barbecue chip and onion ring. Off the chart. Also has breads. Wonderful, wonderful book. Now what I want to tell you is how I decided to come up with tamale pie, raw tamale pie. Growing up, that's something that we always had, but we use corn chips. And I decided after I'd done an event, I had some barbecue chips and onion rings left over. Can you believe it? My onion rings and barbecue chips always go, but I just had a few extras, and I decided that I wanted to make a tamale pie. Let me experiment with doing a tamale pie. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, I also have, there's actually two tamale pies. The first one is Abiba's Raw Tamale Pie, and the second one is Use Whatever You Have. And that one's in our dehydrator. It's warm. We're going to try that after we do this demo on showing you how to do the original tamale pie. What we're going to use is the barbecue chip. And of course, you know I'm going to let you hear the crunch in just a little bit. And then we're going to use, it's not very many left, but I'll show you. Oh, God, this smells so good. I wish you could smell this. This is... The onion ring. Yummy, yummy, yummy. This one is in again. This book here, the new and improved, more lip smack and favorites. And the use whatever you have to Molly Pie, which is in the dehydrator, is using some of these crackers. This cracker here is made with buckwheat. It's screaming. This one is in edible treats. I didn't use this cracker here because I didn't want to use the sesame seeds, but it's off the chain. This one here is the flax up cracker, the bomb. This is in the first book. And again, the barbecue chip. So we're going to use a variety of these crackers here. Not this one and not this one, but if you've made a variety of crackers and you want to make, just use whatever you have to molly pie, that's where this is going to come in. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to keep this real simple. I'm just going to show you how we layer everything and what's in there. We have tomato sauce, which is right here. We have a sun-dried tomato seed cheese, which is in my, on my website. And we have portobello mushrooms that have been marinated. They're fabulous. And because I decided to do a meatless uh, tamale pie, we're just going to use these few ingredients right here, layer them, and put it in the dehydrator, and we're good to go. So the first layer that we're going to use, and this, I happen to be using a small Pyrex dish, but you can use a big one if you want and on the website soon will be the amounts of the ingredients that you're going to use. The amount for the original tamale pie is going to be for a bigger Pyrex dish. But this one here will be for two, possibly one depending on how much of it you eat because you love it so much. So we're going to start off. We're also going to be doing some crackers with this same recipe. So what we're going to do is we're going to just layer it with a little bit. Start with the tomato sauce. And it could be thicker or thinner, but the reason why I like it a little bit thinner is because when you put the crackers that are all firm, they will melt. It will kind of just melt right into the tomato sauce. Okay? And then the next thing that we're going to layer are the barbecue chips. And you're just going to layer it just like that. This is so quick and easy to do. The longest thing for this is actually having your uh, onion rings and barbecue chips dehydrating. Okay. And then the second layer, get up there, 
is going to be the seed cheese. And that's right here. And this recipe, again, is on my website. It's a sun-dried tomato seed cheese. And if you like a lot of cheese, then you can make this as thick as you want. But I really like it to be a thin layer. And if you want to uh, ferment the cheese, you can. But I don't because you can also use this as a pate and just have this on your crackers. Okay. And then the next layer would be the portobello mushrooms that have been chopped up and um, marinated and a little bit of lemon juice and just a dab of olive oil. And then the next layer that you're going to do are the onion rings. Oh God, this is so good. And when I do this, you don't have to really season the um, the uh, seed cheese or the tomato sauce because you already have flavor all in the uh, in the barbecue chip and onion ring. And I want to leave a few of these onion ring stuff because I'm going to sprinkle those on top of the one that we have in the dehydrator. Okay, and then the next layer is going to be the tomato sauce again. And you can layer as much as you want. I have about I think it's 11 layers when I do this because you just keep repeating. Okay. Oh my God, this is so good. You are going to be screaming when you taste this. I did this at a demo in uh, Berkeley. It was the East Bay Raw Food Meetup Group. And I did two that were already ready. And then I demoed, baby, they came running up there. Is there any more? Is there any more? It was wonderful. And then you're going to layer it again with the barbecue chip. And you see how with the, um, with the tomato sauce being as juicy as it is, it really soaks up the uh, barbecue chip and the onion ring nicely. And it's just so flavorful. There was a Hispanic woman who was at this particular um, meetup group where we did the demo. And she says, I have to tell you, I'm, I'm Hispanic, and I have to say this for a raw, you get that out, for this raw um, tamale pie, she says, this tastes like home. This is so good. And I was just, I was very honored because I had no idea that um, it would remind her, but it reminded me of what I had as a kid growing up because we had tamale pie and with corn chips, and you can do corn chips if you like. It's entirely up to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do another layer of the barbecue chip because I want to show you what I want to do with the onion ring. And as you can see, carrots are in the seed cheese. And uh, cover that up. I didn't want you to see that. Then we'll do the barbecue chip again. And then we're going to put it in the dehydrator for about an hour on 105. And baby, it is on. It is on. Okay. And if you use the portobello mushrooms, you just want to layer that in between. Uh, that would go on the seed cheese first. And then you would put on the chips or the onion rings. Okay. And then I'm going to put just another layer of the tomato sauce. Well, maybe I'll throw in just a little bit of the onion rings, but I want you to see. Actually, I want to do the tomato sauce, like I said. Okay. All right. And then you, I again, put this in the dehydrator for about an hour. And if you decide you want to do this overnight, do it the night before you do something. Oh my God, the flavors again are just going to be incredible, incredible. Okay. There we go. All right, and then what you could do is if you have black mushrooms, you could sprinkle that on top because it just looks so beautiful. And then you're just going to take just a little bit of this and just break that up right before you get ready to serve it so that you see a little more color. Okay, that's how you're going to do that. All right. And with the black mushrooms, it's just going to give it more color. Voila. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take this, and what I want to show you so that it gets heated up a little bit faster, 
Oh, this is the one. It's, oh my God. It's warm to the touch. This has been the dehydrator, as you can see. Oh my God, I wish you could smell this. And then you just do that. Sprinkle that just a little bit. Because you want that extra crunch. You can hear me breaking it up and it's already crunching. And then if you want to do some of the barbecue chips, but I prefer this with the uh, portobello mushrooms that they turn dark when they've been dehydrated. Okay, there we go. And there is your raw tamale pie. I'm going to put this in the dehydrator, but what I want to show you is that in the dehydrator, you have the uh, screen that's on top of the tray. And what you want to do is you want to take the screen off so that more air gets onto the on the bottom of the um, of the um, Pyrex dish. So it's going to get warmer faster so you don't have to leave it in you know for a real long time but an hour is is about right. Okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this because we're also going to do a cracker. You know I ain't letting you go without seeing how to do a cracker. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this and I'm going to put this one to the side put this right here and then we'll put that in the dehydrator later. I'm going to put this back into the dehydrator right here and do the cracker. Because I never not miss out on making a cracker. So you can make the cracker with the tamale pie too. What you're going to do is you're going to take flax seeds right here which have been soaked overnight. Okay, put that in there. Don't have to use all of it because I just want you to see what's happening. Then you're going to add the tomato sauce to that. Okay. And I'm also going to add some of the seed cheese. Okay. This is fabulous. Oh my God. Okay. Cover that up. Then we're going to stir this up. And then I'll see whether I need to add more. Um, tomato sauce to this or if this is going to be okay like this. This actually, depending on if you want it to be a drop cracker or a spread cracker. And I think with this, this actually could be a spread cracker, but I'm going to add a little more flax seeds or a little more of the uh, tomato sauce to that so that we could drop this by spoonful. And then we'll do the taste test for the tamale pie. I'm going to add just a little more of the tomato sauce because I want it to be just a little more loose, be easier to drop. But if I wanted to spread this, I could do that. Let's get my spatula and spread this and we're good to go. And I'm just going to add just a dash of salt to this because I did not put seasoning in the seed cheese or the tomato sauce because we already had seasoning in the, and that was just a quarter of a teaspoon. And just mix that up. Drop it by a spoonful and put it in the dehydrator. Okay? There you go. Always you can make a cracker out of anything. Then we're just going to drop these by spoonfuls. Okay? There we go. So you have a new cracker, you have a tamale pie, and you have two tamale pies because I told you that we used. Whatever crackers I had available after I did my demo, it was a buckwheat cracker, the barbecue chip. Um, it was um, another cracker that was done with ground flax seeds and sunflower seeds. Okay, honey, these are good. And before I take the bite of the other, because I know my videographer is like, yeah, when am I going to have a chance to taste some? I feel you. I'm glad she didn't get loud like she did about the honey turnip chips because you know that's what she likes. But um, she'll be able to taste that too because I have two plates. So that's what you want to do with this. I'm going to put this all on here so that I can put this in the dehydrator, turn that on, and these will be ready tomorrow. And 
And then if you want to decorate it some more, you can even drop some um, sesame seeds like we did on that other cracker. And that's it. Okay. All right. So we're going to put that there. And then we're going to put this in the dehydrator. Put this here. Okay. Put that right there. All right. And of course, before we taste the tomato pie, the barbecue chip. You know I always have to let you hear the crunch. Look at this. Fabulous. Fabulous. Did you hear that? I know you did. Yes, you did. All right. Mmm. That's good. Here's another one. I know you heard it. Yes, you did. Mmm. This one is the buckwheat. So good. Mmm. 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 One more. This one. Flax up. Mm. If you only knew. If you only knew. Okay, I'm going to cover this. And then we're going to get some tomato pie. Man, you could sprinkle. Wait a minute. You know what? I think I'm going to sprinkle some of the, um, oh, this is the cold one. I said, wait a minute, something's up. Why ain't that warm? <laughs> that was the one I had put up top. Okay. Yeah. And see, look at the difference in the color. It's been dehydrating, so you see this one was a little deeper in red color. And again, you want if you want to sprinkle um, black olives on that, it'd be fabulous. So I'm going to put this up over here. All right. And then I think what I'm going to do is, I think I am going to sprinkle just a few more. Why not, honey? These chips are screaming. Okay. And even that looks pretty. Okay. All right. Okay. Now let me get my plate. Okay. Now, gosh. Mmm. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Oops. That's all right. Okay. Let me see. This is this is the one that's called whatever you have tamale pie. Okay. Let's see. Oh, this is good. This is very good. This is very good. Oh, this is very good. Okay. It's good. I ain't lying. <laughs> anyway, okay, so look. I will put up on the website the original raw tamale pie. But just remember, if you have made a variety of crackers, you can use those crackers. Just layer them any way you want. Man, if this had the... Um, Portobello mushrooms, but those are for the meat lovers. I mean, I don't have to, I don't have to have the meat. I don't eat meat. Haven't had meat in almost thirty years, I think. But anyway, one more bite. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of your support. Go to my website, crazycrackerly.com. You can go to my YouTube channel and subscribe there. I'd appreciate it. And always remember, enjoy your crazy crackers. God bless you.